Individuals with an insatiable hunger for brains and rotting flesh lurch their way down to the Vogelway Library to take part in Zombies Heart Your Brains. We had a wide variety of activities, everything from Xbox games to paper-based board games. We had zombie target practice. We had PG-13 family-friendly zombie movies. We had face painting, zombie shrinky dinks, and of course, gross, disgusting zombie snacks. But what do zombies have to do with the library? For us, it was a great way to bring in a lot of new people into the library and show off the things that we have that maybe they didn't know about. A lot of times people think of the library as a place where you can only get books, and we have so many other services to offer, um, and we want to make sure that people know about that. Really the, the main idea for any kind of special event like this is to make sure that we're getting in people that maybe aren't using our services, so we try to do something that's a little different from the other programs that we offer. You know, a, a program or activity or event like this is only successful when you get a lot of people that, that uh, want to be part of it. So uh, I think the people here, um, they really put their heart into what was going on and that's why it's becoming successful. While the event was lighthearted in nature, some take the zombie apocalypse a bit more seriously than others. Most families put together kits for hurricanes, for floods, for tornadoes, for fire, all kinds of emergencies, but the Brownings, we put together a zombie kit. It's got first aid, it's got water, it's got, you know, any type of thing we think we need, MREs. That's all well and good, but how does one protect themselves? Guns only last as long as your bullets will. I would definitely recommend a good machete. Reporting from Vogelway Military Complex, I'm Airman First Class Nate Gettleman.